So you're thinking about moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, and more specifically, Lexington, Virginia. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of Lexington. I'm going to show you a little bit of the town and take you into several different neighborhoods and show you some different homes and some different price points that may fit into your budget. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I want to share with you something that is very international about Lexington. And you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And we're going to get started right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Virginia from its beautiful mountains to its valleys, then click on that subscribe button and touch that bell so you can be the first to be notified about all the current market information in Virginia from its beautiful mountains to its valleys. Hi, my name is Stephan Gleason along with my wife and partner Leslie and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to make a move to Virginia's mountains and valleys and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, just pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. The information is all in the description down below and we'll be happy to help you make your move to Virginia as smooth as possible. So in this video, as I mentioned, we're in Lexington, Virginia, and right now I'm on the corner of Main Street and Nelson Street, right in block one of the town. And you can look over my shoulder behind me there and you can see the, the beautiful, great, fantastic downtown of Lexington, Virginia. And Lexington, Virginia is just a fantastic town. I'll show you a little bit of it here, but just so just wrapped in history. And one of the one of the, just a neat little thing is here on the sidewalk there's a there's a monument to remember Lexington. James McDowell uh, received a grant from the Virginia legislature and in 1778. He actually surveyed Lexington, Virginia. It was originally broken into 36 half-acre block, blocks with a courthouse, a place for a courthouse and a jail. And they've laid that out here on the map down below. And I'll get out of the way here. And like I say, you can see that map. So one of the neatest things I think about Lexington is the downtown neighborhood and the downtown shopping and the downtown restaurants that are here. And of course, there's different times and different festivals during the year where they close the entire main street off here. And, have festivals of vendors and things like that. Not to mention the Christmas parade, which is a highlight of the year. So, but like I say, the uh, the, the restaurants that are down here uh, and, and the shops, I mean, you've got shops like uh, the Sugar Maple Trading Company, Liz Hughes of Lexington, and hey, you've even got a game, a game store called Just Games, and that's what it is, is Just Games, I mean, and uh, some really neat things uh, that go on at that particular store. Um, so like I say, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you some of the downtown here, but there are other areas of town as well. I'll show you a little bit of that in a, a drive-by video where some of the other shopping takes place, like Walmart and Ollie's. It's a, a, a popular store around the area here. And uh, we'll, um, we'll show those to you and kind of drive by and give you an idea. Some of those are on the southeast side of town and some of them are on the north side of town around Interstate 64. And uh, so... We'll show you that here in just a second, but I want to go ahead and show you a couple restaurants here in downtown Lexington and in the area and just show you how kind of cool it is. Looking back up the street here into Lexington, I'm going to turn around right here and I'll show you kind of a neat little restaurant. That's Pure Eats. Pure Eats is a restaurant that does breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, they make fantastic donuts. Uh, highly recommend them. And then also, though, they have, um, uh, like I say, lunches, burgers, and they have uh, wraps and salads, all those types of things like that. One of the neat things that Leslie and I like to do, we'll come down here in the summertime and we'll sit out here on the patio a lot of times and we'll just enjoy a nice, cool evening here in Lexington as the sun goes down here at Puri. So if you're in town, well, we'll stop by and try them out. So I'm down here in the corner of Washington and Jefferson, and right behind me you see a fantastic restaurant, breakfast and lunch, Legendary Eats. The food is legendary just like Bigfoot is, and you can come and you can try out their Sasquatch breakfast sometime. And I'll turn right around if it's before 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you turn right around here and you look at Sweet Things. And Sweet Things is an absolutely amazing ice cream place. It is lots of flavors of course, and you can go inside and eat, especially if it's hot during the summertime, it's a great place to cool off. Or if it's in the evening, if it's a nice cool evening in the summertime, you turn around and since Legendary Eats is closed, you just sit out here on their front porch and eat as well. So great places here in town. Of course, there's a lot of places in town in Lexington, some great food, some great restaurants of all different kinds. And so just one of the really neat benefits of being in Lexington and especially in the downtown area.
So as I mentioned, Lexington is a very historic place. As a matter of fact, I'm on the campus right now of Washington and Lee University. Yes, that's correct. George Washington and Robert E. Lee, both men who played an important part in the history of this particular university. It's a private liberal arts college that was founded in 1749. As a matter of fact, I mentioned Robert E. Lee, he was the president after the Civil War. Uh, the, and he, he was buried here as well, as well as his horse and faithful companion of many years, Traveler. Another college here in town is Virginia Military Institute, which actually adjoins Washington and Lee University. And Virginia Military Institute was founded in 1839 as a state-run military school. Um, the particular university was known as the West Point of the South, and of course today it has high rigorous standards for its students, and I'll drive through there and show you some pictures of VMI as well. But that being said, as I do that, after I drive by there, let's go ahead and we'll check in on our first neighborhood. So we're in our first neighborhood, the Meadowview neighborhood, and uh, one of the things that immediately strikes you in this neighborhood is the fact that you've got some mountain views, uh, especially sitting up here on the top of this hill, like this particular street that we're on right now. So that's kind of a really nice thing. But this particular neighborhood is um, uh, north of Lexington. Matter of fact, it's probably about 10 minutes north of downtown and probably about five minutes till you get down to where the Lowe's and Interstate 64 is. So pretty conveniently located as you can see it's out in the country so it's a little bit separated from the rest of the town and and some of the lots here they're decent sized lots as a matter of fact um all the lots are half an acre as a matter of fact some of them go up to two acres in in the in the lot size uh the average property in here the average property in this uh neighborhood is going to run you about three hundred thousand to six hundred thousand dollars uh there's you're going to find anything in here from a three bedroom to a five uh, bedroom home. Uh, it's kind of a nice mix. There's some smaller homes, which could be considered starter homes in the neighborhood here. And there's also homes that are larger, uh, more well-established type homes with a lot of nice finishes to them as well. The uh, average square foot in the neighborhood, probably about 1,200 square feet to about 3,500 square feet. A lot of the homes in this neighborhood are the sweet spots, 300,000, 400,000. Matter of fact, the median sale uh, this past year is about $337,000. So uh, kind of a nice place to uh, find, like I say, that starter home, but at the same time, the other homes as well. One of the other nice things about the neighborhood here is, like I say, it's a little bit outside of town. And uh, so it's nice and quiet, and you definitely get out in the middle of nature. I'm sure you're going to have deer running through your backyard and things like that. As you can see, some of the streets here, they don't have any homes behind them, uh, which makes for a lot more privacy as well. So. Um, that being said, I'm going to take you down to a home that recently sold here and I'll share you a little bit about that particular property and what you can expect to find in this particular neighborhood. So here at the home that I wanted to show you and this particular property, as you can see, has some tremendous views uh, behind it. And uh, But this property uh, recently sold, fairly recently, and it sold uh, for $349,000. Uh, it was built in 1994, so it's one of the uh, older properties here in the neighborhood, but nonetheless, it has three beds and two baths and about 1,960 square feet in it. And if you break that down, that means that it's about $178 a square foot, which is fairly normal here in the neighborhood and in the Lexington area. One of the really neat things about this home, though, is the size of its lot. Now, while not all of the lots here in uh, Meadowview are uh, this large, this particular lot is over two acres. And uh, so great opportunity to go out and enjoy uh, some nice country living and, and, and do that in, in your own yard. And so, but like I say, if you're looking to uh, get a house out in uh, somewhere where it's a little quiet, and things like that, uh, this may be the neighborhood for you. So I'll take some more video on the way out and uh, I will uh, see you in the next neighborhood. here in uh, Lexington and right off of South Main on you know several of the streets here in what we would call the historical homes here in Lexington uh, streets like White Street like McDowell Street and of course South Main Street as well 
Uh, one of the really cool things about this neighborhood is obviously the houses that you see here and uh, uh, older, many, much older houses as a matter of fact, many of them almost 200 years old and um, now you will find in this neighborhood in some places there's there's places within the neighborhood where uh, some of the older homes uh, maybe have fallen into disrepair and been replaced by newer homes but more often than not what happens is is that these homes are um, revitalized uh, refurbished and updated and um, some of the homes in this particular neighborhood you may find smaller homes for uh, the $300,000 range but you're gonna find homes in this neighborhood upwards of a million dollars as well and uh but a, a sweet spot in there is about three hundred and fifty thousand to about seven hundred thousand dollars is uh some of the more average homes in this particular neighborhood as you can see a lot of them have uh and you'll see some i'll drive by here and show you some more uh, especially on south main street but you'll see uh some houses here that uh, just they're, they're like mansions and uh really really neat homes of course the craftsmanship that goes along the type of this type of home is uh is a really neat thing and uh, uh you go in and you see the the banisters that lead upstairs uh into these houses and how ornate they are in many cases and just some really neat things that uh, obviously you don't get in newer homes these days and so it really makes for a unique experience uh here in this historical area, historical homes anyway, of Lexington. Another really neat thing about it as well is that you can uh, walk to the downtown area. It's literally probably a five minute walk, if that, uh, right downtown. And so very convenient to that downtown area. A lot of the homes in here, because they are so large, you're gonna find some that have three bedrooms and you may find some that have uh, seven or eight bedrooms as well. And uh, just a really neat, neat area of town. And um, so that being said, I'm gonna take you around the corner up here. I'm gonna show you a home that recently sold and give you an idea about what's in one of these larger historical type homes here in Lexington. So I'm on the corner of White and Main Street here, South Main Street. And uh, this is the particular property that sold recently and uh, really neat things about it. It, it has uh, four beds and three baths. Uh, it has a, an in-ground pool uh, as well. In the past, it's been used as a bed and breakfast and uh, could even be uh, used as that again. Uh, like I said, the property recently sold. It sold for $505,000. Uh, very historic property. It was built in 1870. Uh, it has 2,300 and, uh, excuse me, 2,623 square feet, which is about $139 a square foot, which is well below the average here in uh, the Lexington area. Um, sits on about a third of an acre lot. And um, like I say, you can look at it and you can see the character and you can see the, uh, uh, the historical value that's in a property like this. And I told you earlier, it's close to downtown. Well, if I turn around, there's downtown right there. And uh, so not very far at all to have to get to downtown if you wanted to just walk downtown. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, move on out of town here. I'll take some pictures of some more on the way out of town and we'll go to our last neighborhood we're going to take a look at. Come to our last neighborhood here. Actually, it's a, a melding of two neighborhoods and that is uh, the greens and the meadows in Wood Creek. And uh, one of the things that strikes you first off, other than probably the wind that's in the microphone, is the uh, size of the houses here and the size of the lots. Uh, this neighborhood is on the south side of town, here about five minutes from downtown uh, Lexington. The uh, matter of fact, this property borders on a golf course, uh, Lexington Golf and Country Club. It is, it has different various uh, styles of homes and different prices as well. Um, the average price in this uh, neighborhood is going to run anywhere between about $450,000 for some of the smaller homes and some smaller lots, all the way up to like some of the homes you're seeing now, some of them up into the $950,000 range. Um, but there is really a sweet spot uh, in the area, and there's a lot of homes in the fives and in the sixes. 
some of the holes if you like golf course living some of them do border uh, the golf course a handful of them but uh, more of them uh, do not most of the homes in this neighborhood are 20 years old or less as a matter of fact they're still building uh, in the neighborhood of course in homes that range in that price range and newer newish type homes like this you're, you're going to have at least three bedrooms, and some of them have uh, up to five or six bedrooms as well. The average square foot of each home here is about 2,000, about 2,000 to 5,000 square feet. And like I say, as you just turn around, and as I drive through the neighborhood, you'll see uh, some of the great views uh, from some of the homes in the neighborhood. But as I turn around here and just kind of share with you a little bit about some of the homes here and give you an idea, uh, this particular street that's off the main street that comes into the uh, development here. But like I say, uh, Wood Creek, the meadows at Wood Creek and the greens are two very, very nice um, neighborhoods in the south part of Lexington. So I'm gonna take you up here to another home that uh, sold very recently and I'll show you, show you a little bit about that home and, and, and show you what you can get for your money here in this neighborhood. So, as I mentioned, as you can see here, there are there's still building that's going on in this neighborhood. And uh, But the home behind me is one that I wanted to show you. It's actually in the Greens neighborhood. Uh, it uh, is listed for $589,000. It was built in 2000, the year 2000. It's one of the older homes in the neighborhood, but uh, still it's not uh, you know, terribly old, of course. Um, the property itself has five bedrooms and four and a half baths. It has 4,250. 15 square feet, which breaks down to about $140 a square foot. And since the average in Lexington is about $179 a square foot at the current moment, that's a, a pretty good price. Uh, the other nice thing about it is it has uh, a little over half acre of land. So I give you an idea kind of what's here uh, in these two neighborhoods. And um, at the beginning of the video, I told you I was going to share with you something international. So let's go find out what that is. about the little town of Lexington, Virginia, and Rockbridge County that is so international. Well, here it is, folks. It is the Virginia Horse Center. The Virginia Horse Center is recognized as the jewel of Virginia's $2 billion a year equine industry. Matter of fact, it has over 600 acres. It was founded in 1985, became a nonprofit in 2007. And it, it has over a hundred shows that's put on every year of either local, state, national, or international shows that take place here. And in addition to horse shows, there's also BMX bike races and the rodeo and monster trucks even come here from time to time as well. The facility itself, the Coliseum is what we're in right now, and the Coliseum seats over 4,000 people. But in addition to this Coliseum, there's 14 show and practice rings. There's enough room to house a thousand horses here. And also this particular property has a nationally recognized and rated cross country course. So what a really neat thing to have here in Lexington, Virginia. So like I say, I hope this video has been a help to you. And uh, if you've seen some properties or some areas in Lexington that you're interested in, Leslie and I would be happy to help you uh, make your move into Virginia or if you're already in Virginia across town or from one town to the other, we'd be happy to do that. And, and uh, just pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, like I said at the beginning of the video, and we'll be more than happy to help you make your move to Virginia as smooth as possible. So like we always say, until next time, We'll see you around town.